let's get started building our multiplier. Now we're going to multiply together the two numbers that we've already used in a previous video when we looked at the multiplication. So we're going to multiply minus 0 0.7 times 492.75 and the answer to that should be minus 344.925. So I suggest you just stick those numbers into a calculator and convince yourself that that is actually true. Now I've written down these numbers already in our 32-bit binary so the minus 0 0.7 is given by this 32-bit number here and I've also written the number down in hex so in hex this is going to be the first four bits here so we split these into four bits so the four bits here is going to give us the binary number three and then the next four bits is the binary number three 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 and this these four bits here are going to give us the F and this is going to give us a B here. And I've done the same for the 492.75 and it's going to give us this number here and this is going to be the binary number. I've split them up as well so we can see that this one here is the sign and the next bits are 8 bits are the exponent and the other 23 bits here are the mantissa. So the answer is going to be this number down here. So what we could do is we could go ahead and we'll stick those into our little spreadsheet that does the conversion so I've left that spreadsheet in the resources section section so you can go and open that up now and we'll go ahead and we'll just check these numbers out so this is our conversion tool here so click on the little button in the top left hand corner and we'll go ahead and we'll put the values in so that's me put the first number in which is the 0.7 and minus 0.7 but you can see here that we know that this is an approximation because this is a continual repetition here so 0011011 would continue forever but we've only got 32 bits so we've cut it off here and we've got minus 0.69999 so it's very close to uh, minus 0.7 and we can see we've created that and make sure you, you I do understand where it comes from you've got the minus and you've got the exponent here which is 126 minus the bias it gives us minus one and we've got our mantisa which starts from number 10 which is going to be one plus two to the minus one uh sorry two to the minus two two to the minus three there's no four or five and it goes two to the minus six and two to the minus seven so that gives us number 1.3999 and whenever we multiply these together our minus one times 1.39999 times two to the power of our exponent here which is minus 1 we get our minus 0 0.7 so this is um, a re revision for us if we, we know how to create these so let's go ahead and we'll check the other one and that's me stuck in the other one which is 492.75 so again stick these in yourself and make sure you understand these numbers where they come from uh, and how we get the 32-bit binary representation so let's move on and we'll look at the actual result whenever we multiply these two together so if you go to google and get into any online calculator and we'll stick in our minus 0.7 times 492.75 and this is going to give us an exact value of uh, minus 344.925 but of course we know we're going to actually have an approximation because we've approximated the minus 0.7. So let's go and see what our actual answer is. So this is our answer here in our 32-bit binary floating point, which is written in hex here. So let's actually put this value here in to our little calculator and we'll see uh, what that number is and see if it's minus 344.925 but of course we know it's not going to be exact it's going to be close to it because of this approximation here with this number so that's us put our answer in here to the converter and we can see that we get minus 344.924 uh, and so on and we can see how that's been calculated so we know this is an approximation but at least we've got a couple of numbers to start off with and we've got the multiplication and we've got the answer so let's see if we can build or start building up in Logisim using this one as an example 
Now we've already seen when we worked through the multiplication that in order to multiply these two numbers together, so let's call the top one x, and we'll call the bottom one y, then we have to multiply the mantissa of x and the mantissa of y, and we have to add the exponent of x and the exponent of y. Now we've also got to take care of the sign, so the sign's the easiest part to do, so let's go ahead and we'll do that now. If we multiply a positive with a positive, we're going to get a positive number. If you multiply a positive with a negative, or equivalent we say a negative with a positive, we're going to get a negative number. But if we multiply a negative number with a negative number, the two negatives cancel out and we get a positive. So we could draw that out in a little truth table. We know that whenever we are dealing with our floating point numbers, that 0 is a positive number and 1 is the negative number. So we can replace these pl plus and minuses with zeros and 1s. So we've got this little truth table here, 0, 0 gives us a 0, 0, 1 gives a 1, 1, 0 gives a 1, and 1, 1 gives us a 0. Now, this is a common uh, truth, a common uh, gate, and it's called the exclusive OR gate. We've, we've come across that before in the previous course. So we can work the sign out just by using an exclusive OR gate. So we can simply put in the value for the sign bit into x, and the value for the sine bit into y, and we'll get the final output, which will be the sine bit for x times y. So that's quite straightforward. Now we've also seen that in order to work out the exponent value, what we have to do is we've got to take the exponent here, and we change this from the binary into the decimal. So this is going to be the decimal for 1, 2, 6. That's going to be uh, 2 plus 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64, which is going to give us 1, 2, 6. But we know that we have to bias that, so we've got to take 127 off of it. So that will actually give us the exponent for x as minus 1. Now we do the same thing for the y value down here. We work it out as 135. We take away the 127, we get the 8. And then we simply have to do the x plus y. So it's the x exponent plus the y exponent, which is minus 1 plus the 8, which is going to be 7. So it means that the exponent value then is going to be a value of 2 to the power of 7. And finally, we have to multiply together the mantissa for x and the mantissa for y. So that's enough of the theory. In the next video, we're going to have to go ahead and separate out the sine bits, the exponent bits, and the mantissa bits. So let's go ahead and we'll do that in the next video.